So now we are going to be setting up the admin template or the template we are going to be using for this application. For now, we've set up this project and we serve up a, an HTML page as you can see. But now we can be creating HTML pages manually. So the template we are going to be using is called Nice Admin Template. So if you go to Google and type Nice Admin Template, we can get to this template and it's a free template you can see right here. So simply uh, click on free download and free download. All right, so these downloads, I'm going to open it in my finder and I'm going to simply unzip it. And as I unzip it, I'm going to simply throw away this one. Okay, so how do we now set up this template with our Spring application? First, let's open this uh, file and the folder and open the index page. And you can see now it's in my local system, you can see this my local uh, directory. So it's working quite well, okay? Now I want to transfer these files onto our Spring application. So to do that, first I'm going to minimize this. And you are going to open these two side by side, just like this, okay? Now, as I told you before, the HTML files of your Spring application has to be inside the template folder. So if you go to SRC mail resources, you have a template folder how we created one single HTML file. I'm going to delete it because we are now going to use a, uh, an index page from the template. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to kind of go back and I'm going to, this nice admin template, you can see this is what we have. So what you're going to do now is to copy all the folders into the static folder of your application and also all the HTML files into the template folder of your application. So I'm going to start with uh, selecting all the folders here. I'm going to copy them and simply paste, paste them inside the static folder of my application. So I'm going to right click and click on paste and refactor, that is fine. So this is what you need to do first. Before you copy the pages, you need to copy this folder across into the static folder. And next, we are going to select all the pages, all the HTML pages you can see right here. I'm going to copy them and simply paste it inside the uh, template folder. So I'm going to right click and click on paste and then say yes. And, and it pastes automatically. So this is what we have now. And at this point, if I run this application, it's going to serve up the index page from our template. So I'm going to refresh more or less to run this application now. And let's go to visit the index page one more time. And let's see that it's going to serve up the uh, index page. So I'm going back to my browser and I'm going to refresh this page now. And it says, uh, this error. Okay, so you can see that it worked now. So I really don't know where the problem is coming from. Okay, I think I was refreshing the page. So it was trying to get the page from the cache. So I simply have to press enter. Okay, so it worked now. But for now, you can see that it's giving me the index page. If I click on, let's say, widgets, nothing works because widget is not assigned. Now, if you want to change to widget, you can actually uh, go here and simply say widget. And it's going to serve up the widget page without serving the index page. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, just serve up the widget page so that you can see how the mapping works. So I'm going to, instead of using index here, I'm going to say widget and also use widget. Jet and change the name here to we Jet. All right, so I'm going to save everything and also let me check in templates folder to make sure there's a widgets um a widget file here. So it's going to be widgets widgets with with an S. Okay, okay, that is fine. So I'm going to save everything, save all, and I'm going to stop this application and then rerun it. Okay. So I'm going to run it one more time and let's see what we have. So I'm going to come here and let me go with the index first. So index still works. So let's just try 
Let me just make sure here. So widgets, let's try widgets and widgets. And you can see that widgets now work. So you can play around with any other page you want and see how it plays out. So in the next part, we are now going to see how we can actually create a template page, more like a master page so that every other page will derive from this master page. So the master page is simply going to have this uh, sidebar, the header, and every other component that needs to be static. So you're going to create this master content page or layout content page in the next part. If you are joining for the first time, please remember to subscribe. If you have any, any challenges following, please leave me a comment below and I'm going to respond to you. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.